Right, I have a new chicken. I've just been and picked her up. She's a little bit bedraggled. And she's, I'm not going to introduce, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put her in the coop. I'm going to lock these two up, keep them just in here. And I'll just let them introduce themselves slowly. So I'm just going to get some corn, just to amuse these two. And looking now at the, the, the comb on the new one, the, the, the red thing on the head, um, it's huge. So, okay, let's go and get some corn. Okay, so, a bit of corn, and I've just shut the central door. And what I'm gonna do is introduce her into the main coop door, and then she can find her own way out. Oh, now with me. Isn't easy to do with one hand. <laughs> and she'll be a little bit weak and a little bit confused. Put her in there and then I think what we'll do is we'll just gently persuade her to leave. Which is difficult enough in itself. I'm just going to open the door. And there she is. Chicken. Hello. Hello. There we are. And there we go. That simple. <laughs> so we'll just leave her to find and make her own sort of things about what she's going to do. I wonder how to make chicken can, didn't I? That would be quite interesting. Live chicken camera. There we go. I've, I've just decided to introduce them. Just let them sort it out. Oh, here we go. Who's this? There doesn't appear to be any squabbling or bickering <laughs> Is a noise? <laughs> oh there we go, look at that Do you know, if that's as bad as things get, I'll be happy. But she's having a good old peck at that. See what I mean about the comb? Well, there's no... Look at this. No bickering, no fighting. Yeah. So that was a win. Yeah, quite happy with that.
So there's obviously some chicken based communication going on here. What are you trying to tell me? Miniature Tyrannosaur Oh, 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 the head's popping out Look at the size of that comb Well, I think that went splendidly. I really do. She's thinking about it. I think she's thinks it's quite nice and warm and dry in there, and she's right, it is. I'm gonna leave them to it. So, the morning after. And as you can see, she's found her way into the areas. I've seen her eating out of the food container this morning, and I've just given them some corn, and as you can see, she's uh, she's quite happily mixing. But the size of the comb on her head is, and it is, it is quite interesting to see the difference between her and the other two chickens, which have come from the same kind of farm. As you can see, she's got quite a bit of balding on her back now, whether that's because she's been pecked or because she's molting, I don't know. But they're all quite happy together. I don't know whether she went in the coop last night. Um, when I came, the other two were in, but she was huddled up in the corner. Um, so I left the door open just in case she could figure it out. I'm hoping she'll be able to figure it out tonight. We'll see, there we go, you can see she's got quite a quite a bald arse. So she's ready plucked, shall we say. But com compared to the other two, which have I mean I've only had them sort of six months, um have have really sort of come on. Because they didn't look too far off of her, but not quite as bald. But well, it's all been relatively straightforward, no massive issues, and she's settled in quite nicely. So we're back to a family of three.